Hey guys, so for your math lesson today, it's actually going to be a review lesson of what we've already worked on before. This is our two-digit subtraction with and without regrouping. Okay, so you guys, let's practice a couple problems together. So if you need to pause the video, you can, but I want you to get your whiteboard, your marker, and whatever eraser or tissue you have, okay? And we're going to practice some problems, okay? So if you need to pause the video, pause it and run and get those things real fast, okay? All right. So remember, two-digit subtraction. Let's start with 43 minus 16. Okay, remember in two-digit subtraction, we want to start with our ones first. Okay, do not even look at your tens yet. You want to start with your ones first. 3 minus 6. If you have 3, can you take 6 away from it? No, you cannot. Okay, hopefully you guys remember that. Remember, you always start on the top. 43 minus 16. You're not going 6 minus 3. You always go straight down. Remember, I don't have enough 1s, so I need to go next door, get a 10, Move those 10, that once we move that 10 over here, it becomes 10 ones and the three ones that we already have. 13 ones minus six ones is seven ones. Now I'm ready to subtract my tens. Three minus one is two, so 27. Okay, let's do another one. I want to start with my ones, guys. Make sure you're starting with those ones, okay? Eight minus three, can I do that? Yes, eight is bigger than three, so we can subtract it. Eight ones minus three ones is five ones. And then I come over to my tens. Four tens minus two tens. Forty minus 20 is 20. So 48 minus 23 is 25. Okay, let's do another one. Sixty minus seventeen. Okay, I have zero ones. If I have zero ones, can I take seven away from that? No, I do not have enough. Remember, if you don't have enough, you go next door and get 10 more. I now have five tens. I move that 10 next door to the ones, break it into 10 ones plus the zero ones that I already had. That gives me 10 ones. Now I'm ready to subtract. 10 ones minus seven ones is three ones. Five tens or 50 minus one ten, which is 10. 50 minus 10 is 40. So 60 minus 17 is 43. Okay, guys, remember that sometimes we might only be taking one digit away. Let's do this one. 36 minus 9 equals... Remember that if it's written vertically, we want to, I'm sorry, if it's written horizontally, we want to rewrite it vertically. Remember horizon or horizontal, okay? We want to rewrite it vertically, lining up. This is the number 36 minus nine ones. So that one, those nine ones need to go in the ones place making sure you're lining up. Six ones minus nine ones. Can't do it. So what do I need to do? Go next door and get a 10. Two tens. Move that 10 over here. There's that 10 I went next door and got, plus the six ones that I already had. I now have 16 ones. 
16 minus 9 is 7. Two one or sorry, two tens minus no tens. Twenty take nothing away is twenty. So it's twenty-seven. Okay, guys. So remember when it's written horizontally, you need to rewrite it vertically. On your test, you need to make sure you're showing all of your work. Okay, and then the other thing that we talked about is how to check our subtraction by adding your two parts together to see if they get that whole. All right, so let's do a problem. Let's do... Fifty-four minus twenty-eight. Okay, so I'm going to solve it first. Four minus eight. Four is smaller. You cannot take a bigger number away from a smaller number. So I go next door, get a ten. So I have four tens there. I move that ten over to the ones place and the four ones I already have. So now I have fourteen ones. 14 minus 8 is 6. Go to my tens place. 4 tens minus 2 tens. 40 minus 20 is 20. Okay, so I want to double check this with addition so that I can see if I got the right answer. Remember, we want to put the two parts together to see if we can get that hole we started with. You take, you start with the part that you ended up with, 20. Six. We're going to add it to the part that we took away, 28. And if we did it correctly, we should get our whole. We definitely want to add, guys, because we don't want to just write the answer down. We want to add it to make sure that we did it correctly. Six and eight is 14. Put my four ones down here. Regroup those 10 ones into a 10. One, two, and two. Two and two is four, plus one more is five. Fifty-four, yep, that's what I started with. Your answer in addition should be the number you originally started with. Okay, so that's what you guys are going to work on today. You're going to do your concept checked. Make sure you put your name and date on it. It starts with a number six. You're going to do these problems, just practicing your regrouping if needed. Here you need to rewrite these horizontal problems, rewrite them vertically. Down here you're going to subtract and then check it by adding. Remember, you're going to add your answer or the part that you got plus the part that you took away and it should equal the number you started with, that whole number. Okay, here subtract, put your two parts together, the answer you got plus what you took away, and if you did it correctly, you should get that answer. On the back, you're going to solve these problems. Some of them might be two parts. Remember, we've been practicing all year those two-part story problems. You, need to, you might have to do two things. Show your work, guys. Show your work with that standard algorithm. Okay. So that's on number 19, 20, 21. And then here, solve this problem. You've got room to solve it over here and then bubble in your answer. Okay? All right, guys, this is just a review to prep you for your test tomorrow to get this back in your head again because it's been a little while. I know we did this with the money when we were subtracting dimes and pennies. Once you finish this, I want your parents to take a picture of this side and then turn it over and take a picture of this side and email me both sides so that I can see what you guys are doing on this and make sure that you're doing it properly before we take our test, okay? Please put your name and date on it. All right, guys, talk to you later.